Hi everyone, my name is Bakari and I write for MakeYouself.com and I'm here to do a little tutorial about a really cool application called Better Touch Tool and I'm really excited about this application. I wrote about this application in MakeYouself.com and it should be coming out I believe next week um, and so it's a little review about it but I, I really wanted to kind of do a, um, a tutorial about it too because I'm just really excited about it. One of the, the things that Better Touch Tools does is that it works with your magic mouse or your trackpad, magic trackpad, and even your keyboard or normal mouse. And basically what it does, it, 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 it activates all types of actions and on your computer as well as keyboard shortcuts. Now you know that um, Apple provides um, a handful of um, you know, gestures and actions um, with the uh, trackpad. And they're okay, but it was just not enough. When I bought the Magic Trackpad, I quickly stopped using it because it just wasn't, it did not have enough functionality for me. And I was kind of waiting for somebody to come out with an application that would give me more functionality. And Pet Better Touch Tools does that for me. And so basically, um, let me show you a few things that I use it for. I mean, you're going to use it in your own particular way, but there's a lot of things that I use it for. For example, um, if I wanted to increase the volume um, on my computer, I just go to the uh, three finger swipe right to increase the volume, and then I go three finger swipe left to decrease the volume. Now, when I'm in um, Safari, and I, all I got to do if I want to bring up Safari is do three finger tap, brings up my Safari really quick. Now, the um, Better Touch Tools allows for global gestures and also gestures that are specific to an application. So when I'm in Safari, I do the three finger left and right to go back and forth between pages. So if I want to go back to the previous page, I go three finger swipe to the left and it'll take me back to the previous page. And then I want to go back to the page I was on. I go three finger swipe right. Oops. Oops, okay, here you go. And it does, it, go, it takes me back where I was. So you can apply, you know, gestures and actions to specific, to specific um, applications or you can apply them globally. If I want to bring up um, the Better Touch Tools interface or preferences, I do a, what's called a five finger tap. That's the one I assigned to it so far. Um, another one that I do uh, is um, three finger swipe up and that brings up a list of applications that I have put into Butler. And Butler's one, I put a, a folder of applications that I regularly use, but they're not in the dock. So I want to be able to access, access those without going to the applications folder. So I just do three finger swipe up and it brings that up there. Another one, if I want to do, uh, if I want to bring up my mail, I do what's called three finger click sw uh, swipe up. Oops, let me do it again. Still learning that one. Oops. Okay, if I do three fingers tap, it'll bring up, it'll bring, it'll activate iTunes. And then do it, you have to kind of learn it. Takes a little bit of time to learn it, but if I want to do that, I'll do three finger, three finger clip, click, and then do it kind of up, and it brings up the uh, mail. And then if I want to get rid of mail really quickly or hide it, I do three finger swipe down. And it, and it gets rid of that. So it's a little tricky learning how to use them, so I'm still kind of doing that, but it's, again, really, it's not that difficult. Um, to, there's a lot of, um, you know, documentation on how to use it, but basically, when you want to set up a, um, a, a, a gesture and an action, you just go to Add New Gesture here, you click that, and then you go and, let me just go for it, do it for you. And then, so then you go up here, and you got, Look here, over 50 different uh, gestures that you can choose from. And uh, so if we did this one here, for example, that's the tip swipe left finger up. And you'll notice here it shows you a little bit what that gesture will look like. So it gives you like a little icon here, uh, kind of preview of what that gesture, what you're supposed to do on your trackpad. And then you go over to your predefined actions. It's a whole bunch of them here. Quite a lot there. Now you can show the desktop, do the dashboard, spaces, sleep the computer, mute, play, pause, um, move a, a, a window to your second monitor, all that. Um, or you can also put in 
your keyboard shortcuts here as well. So that's really fun. Um, another one that I use, because I, I take a lot of screenshots when I'm working, so if I tap here in the top middle, it'll bring up the, um, it'll bring up my Jing uh, screen capture application. And then if I want to escape out of that, you know, say I don't want to use it, I go to the tap over here in the right middle, and it gets rid of the, it uses the, it taps it activates the um, escape key and it gets rid of that. Um, let me bring up uh, let's see Safari again, and if I want to add some tabs, okay, whoops, let's see here. All right, so I do what's called I'm doing what's called a three finger um, tap right. So that's that's a little bit harder one to do. So it's three fingers down, and then you tap with your index finger, your I'm sorry, your left index finger, to bring up more tabs like I'm doing here. Now, if I want to get rid of tabs, I do two fingers down and then tap with the left finger here, and that gets rid of the tabs. Okay. So it's a little, a little bit hard, but again, not impossible to learn. So that's basically it. Um, there's a lot of gestures in here. You just play around with it. Um, if you a uh, kind of person that you use the mouse a lot, you want to, you know, use these gestures. I have some specific gestures assigned to iPhoto, to Mail, to Mail Plane, to Mars Edit. There's an application that I'm starting to put some gestures in. Um, specific gestures in and it also has a lot of advanced stuff that uh, quite frankly I wouldn't even touch until you really get it down and understand what you're doing so um, anyway check out my article and check out the site better touch tools and I'll put that in the uh, show notes or whatever um, and if you you know like it let me know about it let me know what you think about it and if you come up with some really cool stuff to do with let me know about that as well thanks a lot for watching and I hope you enjoy it